by interrupting? Not at all. What's this? Looks like a rap sheet. Oh, just something we're trying to track down. Ah. Missing persons? Uh, suspects? Oh, it's somebody that we've been trying to track down for some time now. Goes back about three or four months. Oh, no, you don't. This is how it all started last time. Aha, uh -huh, but look how well it turned out. You were lucky. Oh, I see. And skill had nothing to do with it. Plenty. I mean, you being in the right place at the right time probably saved a lot of unsuspecting people from being ripped off. So what does luck have to do with that? When you emerge from a dangerous situation with your scalp intact, it's luck and you ought to be grateful for it. Oh, I am. Eternally grateful. Now, tell me about this new case. First of all, it's not new. And secondly, if you think I'm dumb enough to give you that information, you should never have married me in the first place. Ooh. Just wanted to help. Well, uh, it's a case of indecent exposure. Still interested? How old is the suspect? Take my age and double it. Hmm. That old? Probably older. Then you can have that case. What have you got for me? You make it a joke, of course. Well, it doesn't have to be anything too big. You know, maybe another suspected scam or... How about smuggling or purse snatching or something like that? I suggest that you rest on your laurels. Oh, that was nothing. I'm looking for something much more challenging this time. Good. Got just the thing for you. Terrific. I want you to get some last-minute dinner reservations tonight. Ah, uh, fancier the better. Well, that's not terribly challenging. I mean, your name is Open Sesame. For how many people? And what is the occasion? Well... You see, Celia called me a couple of times last week, but I put her off. I said that you were busy. However, it's an opportune moment, and uh, it'll be a treat. You're right. I should keep up with our social obligations, especially with uh, Grant and Celia. It's been a while, you've got to admit. Oh, well, can't mix business with pleasure. True, but uh, you... No longer in business. Well, that's only temporary, I hope. <sighs> Look, um, we'll see about that. Um, you might enjoy the change of pace. I hope you're not suggesting that I retire. What I'm suggesting is that you stop messing with me and extend our invitations. Yes, sir, Mr. Commissioner. How are you? Oh, I'm getting by. And you? How are you? It's been so long, you're a stranger. That's why I called. Robert and I think we should all have dinner together. Oh, well, Grant and I would love to see you. Our treat. Tonight, if it's convenient. Well, maybe it is. We're meeting someone there for dinner at the Versailles room at 6 o'clock. Uh, no, probably not for dinner. Probably just for drinks. So we can meet you at 7 somewhere. Okay, hold on. I'll check with Robert. Uh, Versailles room at 7? Yes, fine. Okay. Uh, the seven's fine. We'll have dinner at the Vest Iron, so long as you're there. Oh, wonderful. No, it's about time the Scorpios and the Putnams got together again. No, no, Andrews. Oh, sorry, I forgot. It's okay, I wish I could. Well, I'll make the reservation right now, then. See you there. I'm ready. How about you? For what? Dinner, silly. Remember, Grant, Celia? It's a bit early, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I suppose it is. Well, not to worry. We'll get there early and have a little drink. We can't. One little drink never hurt anybody. Grant and Celia are meeting somebody there. If we show up too early, it'll be awkward. Then we'll have a belt right here. Good idea. Have yourself a seat. I uh, <clears throat> keep this here for medicinal purposes, of course. Of course. It will be neat. Well, I don't mind it even if it's sloppy. Uh -huh. That's at least your worst joke for the year. Oh, well. My dancing is something to behold. Here's to the demise of Hannibal. But not to the demise of my career. We'll see. You keep saying that. You keep needing reminders. Aren't you proud of me, Robert? Is that why you did it? 
No, I did it for the excitement, but it would be nice if you could say that you were proud of me. You did very well for yourself, love. Does that surprise you? Not at all. Then why don't I get even a sense, a, a hint of enthusiasm? Maybe I'm not enthusiastic. I feel like a child being reprimanded. No. I am speaking to you as your husband. It's more than a reprimand. You're not going to forbid me to do it again, are you? You think I would? Robert, why? I don't understand you. Why? Look, it's really very simple. You are not a con artist. You're my wife. All right? And I'm the police commissioner. And I'm not going to have you mixing with con artists as the con, even if you are on the right side of the law. It's in my blood, Robert. Adventure, excitement, taking risks, following them through to the bitter end. I've been keeping it in check up until now, but now that I've had another taste of it, well, it makes me think that I can't live without it. If you take it away from me, I don't know what'll be left. I'll be left. Our life together. The children we'll one day have. Well, I want you, and I want our life together, and I want the children. That doesn't mean to say I can't have something to myself, does it? Find something. But what? I don't know. That's up to you. You know where I stand. Yes, well, you certainly made that clear enough. Damn, it was fun while it lasted. Here they are right now. Ah. You're right on time. Well, we waited in the car for five minutes to make sure that you were through with your meeting. Ah. Which uh, you obviously are because you're alone. <laughs> the night is ours.